Hey everybody, welcome back to the next project. Um, this is going to be a fresh project. I'm going to be doing it in a, a couple series. Uh, this one's going to be part A, um, which is actually the uh, install of the LEDs into the cab. Um, as you can see, I've already uh, removed the shell from the chassis there. Um, this is the GP40-2 that uh, I mentioned that I'm going to be installing an SDH-164D. Um, I haven't done the Part B is probably going to be the installation of the converting it to DCC. Um, the reason why I'm making that Part B is because something I've learned, um, well something I already knew of, was this guy right here, this speaker that comes with the uh, SDH-164D is obviously is too big to fit in the, uh, in the shell there when uh, put together, which is uh, why I bought the Soundtrax small oval speaker. In the last video I made, I mentioned that this one's a small oval speaker and there's smaller ones like the miniature, uh, when in fact um, uh, what Soundtrax offers is three different types of the small oval speaker. Um, and this one's actually the largest one. So this one is too big to fit inside the actual shell. Um, this one is 810103 and uh, we actually need 810113. Um, those actually fit much nicer in there, perfectly actually. And uh, um, I've gone ahead and I've ordered a couple of those to get that uh, to be able to do the conversion uh, so I can get this guy, uh, the 164D, installed. One thing I didn't realize when ordering the Soundtrax speaker was their, um, Soundtrax doesn't offer uh, an enclosure or a baffle for this guy. But uh, after speaking with some uh, good folks and uh, Paul on Train Life, I have uh, found some at Tony's Trains. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to get some quotes there for shipping to get some shipped to me here, and uh, we'll have that. But just uh, to let you know, that's going to be at a later date, Part B. So we'll stick with Part A here, uh, which what we're going to be doing is installing two millimeter LEDs, two of them, uh, inside the cab. So what I've done is I've removed the cab from the shell, as you can obviously see there. And you can see the holes right there. Um, what I've gone ahead and done is I took my pin vise with a two millimeter drill bit and uh, I uh, very carefully drilled uh, those holes out to make them wider so they fit uh, the lights perfectly. The lights will slide right in, no problem. And I can still use the pre-existing uh, little tiny uh, little plastic uh, lenses that were on there that came with the train so uh, it's gonna look pretty good um, so let's go ahead get started on the install of these guys here just uh, remember that you're gonna need the LEDs and we're gonna be using 680 ohm quarter watt resistors to do this project alright so let's get started before we get started I'll just give you a little diagram to show you kind of exactly what we're gonna be doing with the LEDs just to to be very uh, precise here. So. so as you can see I've got the two LEDs there that we're installing in the front and the short lead coming off the LED is always the negative and the long one is always the positive. So you can see I've got the negative here and the negative here. Off the negatives we're running our resistor, the 680 ohm quarter watt resistor and then onto that we put the white wire. Same with the other one there, we're going to do this exact same thing, 680 ohm quarter watt resistor in the white wire and then we're going to be connecting both positives together for your blue common. And So that, the reason why I've done both white is because these are both going to be running as the headlights so I'm just using both lights off the one white wire so we can uh, accomplish that just by turning it on they'll both come on there. You could hook these up into a series, hooking it up, and maybe we'll focus on that uh, down the road doing another project. Um, that way you're just going to have the one wire coming off and then you're going to be connecting two of the leads together. We'll focus more on that down the road, but for now we're going to be doing this project like this. First things first, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut down the leads because they're too long and we're going to be doing the same 
on the resistor because they come with a nice long piece of metal sticking out there so we'll shorten that down and I'm just going to start on the negatives because I'm going to get that uh, resistor put on there so we'll just spread them out a little bit and we'll make them nice and short so we'll cut it uh, about there Oops, I'm using the wrong one. These will work better. All right. So I've got it cut down nice and short. And we'll cut down that resistor nice and short. And then what we'll do is we will tin these. And then same with the resistor. Uh, something I'll tell you about a resistor is there is no direction of current or anything on resistors. It doesn't matter how you install them, they can go any way, you're not going to make a mistake on that. And the uh, same with these, we're just going to shorten that right up. There you go, so nice and short now. So now it's going to be the resistor coming practically right off, it's the best angle. Okay. So I'll get these tinned up and we'll put these together. All right, so I got these two done now. I, uh, what I do is, you know, just heat the end up. Now, this is where I use my heat sink, uh, kind of important, I, I, I recommend it. Some say don't bother, some say do, I use it. Okay, so uh, I just went and soldered everything together there. As you can see, there's the LED, from what you can see there. Um, the blue wire again on the positive white wire on the negative with your resistor done that to both of them there I haven't put any heat shrink on them yet because we want to test them to make sure everything's good to go before we uh, uh, put some heat shrink on you don't want to waste that so uh, let's see what's the best way that you can see it work and, that one there. and there we go so there's one working fine there and Here's number two. Here's number two. So we've got both uh, LEDs working good here. They look really yellow to me. I'm uh, these are known as warm white LEDs. Um, I was expecting them to be a little whiter than what they are, but uh, when you look at them dead on, straight on, they, you know they they are quite bright, but. Uh, they're definitely uh, got a lot of yellow warm in there and uh, when I ordered them they said that there was a hint of uh, yellow in it thinking that it wasn't just going to be pure white but uh, uh, they, they are quite yellow but uh, that's all right I'm going to install them anyway. Um, so what we'll do is throw some heat shrink on there. Now um, my one video I was saying that I had uh, here they are I was looking for them uh, 330 seconds and I bought that and they were not quite um, shrinking down as tight as I would like them to go uh, but they were shrinking down enough that they, they wouldn't move but it would just leave a tiny little bit of a gap um, so I said in my video that uh, you need 364 uh, to put on there so I got them and absolutely these are awesome for going over the wire so if I install the wire in there um, goes on the wire no problem but when I get to that resistor it's actually too small to go over that resistor I've tried putting it on there spinning it on there twisting it on there um, and uh, I can't get it on there so what I'm gonna do is I'll of course use my 364 for going over my blue wire right up to the LED butting it up and then I will put my 330 uh, seconds heat shrink over that so I'll get that done, put it on there, and, uh, and we'll have two LEDs ready to fit in the cab. Okay, so I've got this heat shrink on there now, and uh, we're good to go. I tried them out again on the track just to make sure when heating them up with the heat shrink that nothing got damaged, and everything's good. So there you go. Two complete LEDs there, and uh, now all we have to do is just fit them in here. Um, this part's tricky, but not tricky. Um, I mean, that's pretty simple as far as, there you go, that one's installed. Um, let's try this one here. Put that one in. I'm just putting them in there first before I, uh, and I'm just sliding them in the hole. And, and because I used a 2 mil, they, they fit in there snug, so there you go. 
they're in the cab there. Um, I may put some glue on there, I may not. Um, something I'm gonna try out because I've got the, uh, the number boards there and uh, on the back they're open so you could light it up and this here will actually on the inside of the LED where's the best light? right there that's probably gonna light up and glow the interior as well as shooting out a, a nice beam out the front for the headlights um, making it light up in there um, so before I do anything like taping that up painting it or anything I'm going to try it out once the trains together and uh, um, put see see how much light that actually does let off. If it lets way like too much or something, I might be able to dim it down by putting something on it, like paint or something. Um, but if it, if it, if I just decide I want to go ahead and just do the number boards, I think I'm gonna create a little box crevice in there somehow that'll be hidden and uh, um, make it so it just reflects the lights on the number boards. I don't know. I'm gonna try it out, play with it, and see what I can do. Um, so of course the next step is going to be like I'm installing that SDH-164D which means it's, it's going to be a hardware because I'm actually converting this right from a DC it's still in DCC or sorry it's still in DC right now putting this into DCC so I'll be ripping the motor out soldering the wires on there that'll be in part B this is just part A for the lighting and uh, um, of course now it's just a matter of like I'm going to be twisting these blue wires together and uh, twisting these white wires together and uh, with it being uh, hardwired in, um, we're just going to be putting the blue to the blue, the white to the white, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so there we go. I soldered those wires together. together. So now both of them will turn on. And I actually, you know what? That's a nice looking light. Just looking at it myself here. That's uh, a very nice, you know, not super white. It looks pretty realistic. Um, it's lighting up the number boards nicely, so uh, uh, it, looking from the back inside the uh, the cab though, it does look like it's uh, going to be a little bright. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll try it out, put it together first and see where we go. Um, but uh, I like the look of that. That looks uh, very nice. I'm happy with it. So that's the end of part A. Uh, just installing the lights in there. Uh, for installing the windows, we just got to point, the, point these wires up so they're coming through the cab so I can slide the window in it'll slide in there no problem there's gonna be lots of room and uh, the windows installed put this back on the, the uh, train here and then we'll start the conversion in part B so thanks for tuning in for the lighting part of this part A and uh, we'll talk to you soon bye now